All right, welcome back. As you can see, it's a super nice day today. So I've come down to the wood to check out a few things. And the first thing is some of the tree tubes that we put around probably maybe a month, a month and a half ago now, just to see how they're getting on. And I'm starting by the cherry. This is the cherry, just the tracks just over there between the two woods. And this is the cherry. As you can see, it looks very different in here now because of all this bracken that's shot up and we've got some nice looking foxgloves here as well and all around here. And this is two that we did. And as you can see, this one has gone mad. I mean, I'm pretty sure none of them were more than halfway up the tree tube when I put it out. So yeah, I mean, that's looking really good. This one, it's not looking it's looking okay it's not looking so healthy here though so i don't know whether something's been eating that i'm gonna check some of these other ones out okay so this one is yeah she's gone nothing left you can see like a tiny tiny brown thing down there but obviously maybe it wasn't very happy being put in a tube all right this one this one's looking good it's not super high but it's looking like that's all growing this year so doing well there and there yeah similar again it's not well actually it's not looking so it's looking like it hasn't really grown at all to be honest and here wow yeah just struggling struggling along some of these this one looks like it's got some sort of pest or something I don't know it's, these leaves are all curling up at the top Go and check this last one out. We did do more, but don't need to look at them all. This one, yeah, again, it's kind of I don't know, it's, it's a bit darker in here. So obviously you've got all these got all these uh this bracken that's growing up, whereas this one out here, look at it. It's basking in the sun. So I'm a bit worried because uh now that it's come out of the tree tube, it's uh I mean that looks pretty tasty if I was a deer, so maybe I uh I did, I did bring, I came prepared, I brought a large one, I didn't know bring a hammer so I can't put another stake in, the problem we've got here, I don't know if I can show you, but the taller ones that we've got, they're like much, uh, oh, <laughs> this is difficult, but these ones I've already put in are like twice as wide, and as you can see this this cherry is pretty pretty wide so if I put it in here it's gonna be it's gonna get a bit squashed um, so I'm not sure about that it's kind of look how well it's doing and then I'm just gonna shove it in a in a tight tube here right let me put the camera down and then we can see if see what I can too right put it down over it right. oh oh hang on that's looking a bit looking like you're right in the sun there I'm gonna move you back over here uh, hopefully you can see some in there right I know I should probably just be a bit stronger with this. So what I what I'm gonna do is I'll oh can you see me through the bracken then? Uh, is I'll probably come back later with a better steak and take this out and put a new steak in. But I just don't want to get it eaten by a deer so I'm not so sure about that actually it's, it's gonna blow around in the wind but ah, who knows there check it out it looks a bit a little bit squashed now doesn't it but it's still getting some good light so I'm just wondering whether I'm gonna 
I might just uh, bash some of this bracken down here so a bit more light gets into these other ones. Gotta watch the nettles. Probably shouldn't have worn shorts. So there's quite a lot of nettles in the wood at the moment. But it's so hot, it seems a shame not to wear shorts. Oh, hang on, what was that? What if I had another tube in it? Oh, no. Right, try not to squash the foxglove too much. Right, that's a bit better. So there's a bit more, a bit more light coming in now. Some of these other ones do a bit better. Just having a quick look. I can just see some more through there, but none of them are coming up. I can't see anything poking out of the top yet, so that's all right. Oh, the other thing, which we, we're gonna run over there now. But basically, further over, we actually found, well, actually, I say we, um, Hester and Richard found loads more oak trees in the east woods, so, at the moment, there's loads of tree tubes uh, through there, and that's all. Yeah, that was all oak trees. So that's that's really positive. Uh, we can have a look here. So this is the these are the trees that I planted 20 years ago, and these are the the ash. So the ash went have grown really well, but as a as I keep mentioning in these videos, is the ash dieback is. It's definitely sweeping around here and you can see these dead branches here and further up you can see all the ends of the branches higher up are dying so it's really unfortunate and in the coming weeks we're going to start marking up uh potentially which which trees we're going to be taking out i think it's probably unlikely we're going to take these out because they're not getting in the way of other things at the moment but deeper in where it's it's more dense where we need to thin out to let more light in we're probably going to favor taking out the ash trees to start with actually this ash here is still looking all right so that's obviously not something we would take out yet either because hopefully some of them are going to be resistant i mean this one here is looking all looking reasonably good as well and yeah and we're also going to start uh, pruning some of the other trees so if you want to create good timber quality you need to remove some of the lower you need to remove the lower branches as it's growing because if you have too many lower branches as it's growing it creates a lot of knots in the wood and that creates problems when you come to want to use the timber so basically it's not as strong and you get pr more problems when it dries and yeah basically you need to remove the branches as it's growing to make sure you got some some long straights without any branches on what else oh yeah and well all this bracken we we're gonna need to do a bit of uh, bracken control in a few places so yeah it probably would have been nice to have already done some but you know we're busy doing lots of different things outside of the wood as well so it's uh something that we need to probably sit down and think about because i just go down here on the on the steep this is this is the steeper slope so in the distance you can see a a lone tree a lone sycamore tree in the distance and this this is the where the steep slope runs all the way along and it's just full of bracken so if we're hoping to plant next year, we probably want to start controlling the bracken this year uh, to, to knock it back a bit. So when we plant the new trees, they, they're not swamped by bracken straight away. Right, okay, that's a, a short summary of this week. And I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the meantime. Uh, and yeah, have a good week.